of the elders teaching us and we walk away with something mm. something changed it's a transformative listening and transformative speaking that can happen and you know your teaching of unitary prana and unitary mind and i thought shakti ji if the if bayer can just get that piece we are at peace all of us <laughs> and then your teaching of trusting and reverence wow. and actually these core messages comprise the vedic invitation to strategic intelligent living so if you are you actually have a space to go inside you behind all that mm. this combobulated prana mm -hmm. you know through all your 10 sense <clears throat> organs and you actually have a unitary mind which is the higher mind uh, so and 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 you do have a place to step into mm -hmm. and this is the teaching of the veda as far as your activities are concerned with the world and then his partner shambhavi ji says what is your relationship with yourself mm. and that is of reverence and surrender so i thank you for these really core messages i hope you are listening to this rather complex one so don't ask me to give a commentary on what they spoke but i'm just saying what am i walking away what i hope my students are walking away was really significant i also want to say shashi ji that thank you for bringing up my father's name and in his context oh. as a daughter growing up in india and shambhuji shambhuji ji will mm. relate to that and so will the other indians in this audience that we are a colonized nation we have colonized for thousands of years and you know those of you who have not been colonized let me give you an example that do you know that when you're driving through this 237 highway and you see all those billboards your mind is being colonized you know you you wake up and you turn on the radio and it talks to you about uh, taking a ultra what is that what you what you take after you had a drunk night uh-huh um, alka said alka alka said next year something like that you know you're constantly being given messages right so you're being colonized your mind is being colonized and and then you do that you get drunk you don't question that because you've also seen all these ads of you know whiskey and beautiful women and horses so you just like go to that aisle and pick it up and then you go to the alka sesler aisle and take that and your life goes on and you didn't even know you're colonized and that's how we indians so we were colonized and when you become colonized your inner knowingness goes away oh your inner knowingness goes away and so growing up as a daughter of this father who knew who he was introducing to the prime minister uh well i had not I had not really started my work abroad as yet. And so to meet him, meeting him a westerner speaking with such grace and dignity about everything related to India and our heritage and our culture was very significant to me. And you may not remember this, but I was sitting with you in an ambassador car mm. in a hot summer day at your camp and you're having this conversation with me that I didn't get. <laughs> it was beyond me and i went to my father and i said how do you deal with him he's too intellectual <laughs> and my father said he was speaking pure beautiful things oh. and you need to understand him you need to you need, you know that's the thing with indian minds you know you just say too intellectual too spiritual too religious but it's all about it and i'm very glad and i feel very honored that i did you know take forward my own heritage my own lineage forward and uh, and really trying to think independently and originally and really trust that sampada from our ancient vedic culture 
And then I believe if, I, if you and I sit in an ambassador car again, Shastiji, I will have a more intelligent conversation with you, I promise. <laughs> I, I promise. <laughs> and then when I came to this country, I didn't know anyone and I was scared of everyone. I mean, if you've not tried that, try and be an immigrant, okay? So you're like, you don't know who to call. My father said, call David, call David Frawley. And when I called him, he was the first person really to me uh, to acknowledge me, my family, my history, my lineage. And, and before I knew it, some people were calling me to say, your name has been referred to us by David Frawley <laughs> And will you give us an mm -hmm. you know, will you give a lecture or whatever? Because it was in my local area. So I never said thank you to you, but you actually inspired, um, you've actually influenced my students who are sitting here because somewhere you supported their teacher. And that is what great teachers do. And another thing great teachers do, they always begin with their guru. Mm -hmm. This is the one day guru parampara. Mm. So they, uh, so uh, of course, Shastri Ji began with a reference to not only his Vedanta Guru, but his Ayurveda Guru, Ayurveda and Guru. all the teachers who have influenced him, because that is what a true Shishya feels. They become saturated with gratefulness. So today, <clears throat> yes, my work has really progressed. Yes, I am no longer colonized, yay. Mm. Yes, I am taking the light of my own mm. heritage forward. But I too, whenever will sit down and write my own life history or speak, I will <coughs> tell you, Shastiji. So I thank you so much for that. Truly, it's, it's, it was an honor and a privilege to be supported by you. And Shamaviji just brings that mm. special, you know, you know how you, we have the ideals. That's what the Vedas are all about, is ideals. And, and beauty and, 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 and depth. And then the whole mm. Shakta tradition and the whole understanding of rituals, reverence, meditation, all of that brings like how to cultivate the daily oh. garden. And that is really important and you bring that. And your books are in our library and you know, it's beautiful. So that's all I can say. I'm just standing here feeling grateful to be part of this wonderful community crafted by our uh, most beloved Dr. J. Rajanji. <laughs> I, Dr. J. Rajan, Dr. Shanbanji, we are on the board of the California Association of Ayurvedic Medicine. Then it's a really hectic week. And my assistant at Vedika Global said, uh, maybe you should not go. I said, it's just that Dr. J. Rajan asked me. And I can't say no to him, no way. And of course, I could, I could not come, but it was like, uh, you're special. And you people are very fortunate to have such a wonderful teacher, a Vaidya from the pure parampara, upholding it with so much humbleness. And so truly, this is a very blessed school with such august advisors and um, a great tradition supporting it. And uh, when Dr. J. Rajiv moved here from Seattle to Fremont, prior to his move, we invited him for chai at Vedika Global and said, good, good, we like neighbors like you. And so we were really happy to have him in the Bay Area. And I get to come here and uh, give my heartfelt uh, gratefulness right. and thanks. So once again, thank you so much. And uh, um, I was writing notes. It's, it's a joy when we educators get to write notes. and. Mm take down a few points, so thank you.